Patreon allows creators to offer their fans a way of supporting them and what they do. With flexible and painless payment options, anyone can support their creator for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to help me do what I love, check out the link in the video description to learn more. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Math Guide. I am Silphen, where we take a look at the math behind certain cards and hero abilities and try to see what exactly they do. In this video we're talking about Deathcrawler, pretty intense chaos card. And you're going to see what kind of numbers this can produce. So, the TLDR right off the bat, it's a chaos card, provides a lot of power and some basic armor with the chance to deal tremendous basic attack damage every 5 seconds. In essence, when you do crunch to the numbers, Deathcrawler is a 21 to 23% DPS decrease against Shatter Golem with Heavy Hitter and Overclocked Droid equipped at the same time. Deathcrawler can provide 3 to 10 times the damage of a basic attack as Burst, if combined with other crit cards, gems, and abilities on certain heroes. Deathcrawler reduces Revenant's DPS by 6%, but can provide him with the up to 2800 damage as Burst. Absolutely insane. Deathcrawler can provide the ultimate burst on almost any hero, but synergizes very well with Kalari and Revenant in terms of delivering that burst damage. The viability of dealing 400-ish additional damage as burst on average on a carry every 5 seconds may not be worth kind of the 22% less DPS overall you're going to be dealing with going with Deathcrawler instead of Shatter Golem something to consider. Using Deathcrawler as a burst option on any hero other than Revenant or Kalari will highly depend on your team comp and strategy. And there you guys have it. That is the TLDR. Now what is the math to prove that? What is a more in-depth look and some of the some of the numbers that we came up with? Kind of just you inform yourselves further. So if you don't know, Deathcrawler is a 13 agility chaos card all into agility, dealing a ton of damage. 28 power and 24 basic armor is actually a fair amount of armor, but that power is monstrous, which is why casters were taking Deathcrawler because it also made their, uh, their basic attacks actually somewhat viable. Mighty Strikes is the passive that we kind of really care about. Attack speed is reduced by 30, you're hitting less often, but every five seconds, your next basic attack deals 200% bonus damage. You have to remember, and this is a really cool thing about Deathcrawler, is that it actually happens before other crit cards and gems. Deathcrawler multiplies those other crit options, so it's actually on top of. And mechanically, behind, like in the software and all this stuff, apparently, uh, as I did research on this, it actually just increases your damage when it's off cooldown and then crit and everything else happens on top of that so it's a very very interesting it's multiplicative not additive which means we can get ridiculous numbers out of some of these heroes now here we're going to move on to some scenarios and we're going to take a look at revenant first because it's almost mandatory on him if you ask me and i'm going to show you why those are just his hero stats some power that he gets through uh attributes and and stuff like that plus two fang tooth uh i, I wanted to be realistic here attack speed that that is on through um agility and hero levels power through items attack speed through items um and then we get his basic damage 249 basic damage uh with death crawler this is with death crawler and 241 without death crawler and instead shatter golem dps for a revenant is pretty hard to do because you have to add in his hellfire round so i've done that plus we are doing Overclock Droid, Shatter Golem, and Heavy hit, um, Critical Hits Gem. So I've averaged out those, I've averaged out those crits and added those into the DPS. Uh, so this is the DPS here without Deathcrawler. So this is uh, without Deathcrawler, and this is obviously without Deathcrawler, but with Shatter Golem. So you can see that the DPS decrease here is 19% on Revenant, but that doesn't include the damage from Deathcrawler. So how do we do that? Well, 
this is the damage with Deathcrawler. This is the damage with Shatter Golem with certain crits going on. So this is a non-crit attack with Deathcrawler on Revenant for 748. Ouch. However, if that hit also procs, uh, is procced by his critical hits gem, that's 1310 damage in one attack. You can't get Shatter, Shatter Golem with, with Deathcrawler, so this is an A. However, with Shatter Golem, your non-crit is just going to be 241. With a critical hits gem, that's 423 damage. With Shatter Golem crit, that's 483. And if the Shatter Golem crit and critical hits gem combine, it's 664 damage. That's phenomenal. Now, what if we include the damage here from Deathcrawler and add it into his overall DPS? You can actually see it's a DPS increase to go with Deathcrawler. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. I just realized I put decreased in the TLDR. My apologies. It's actually an increase. This negative, uh, because it's DPS decrease... And a decrease, a negative decrease is actually an increase. My apologies, uh, the TLDR was was wrong. It's an increase, a DPS increase to go with Deathcrawler on Revenant, which makes it even more viable. Now, Revenant also has that Hellfire round. And I wanted to just put a number to the to that Hellfire because I was like, man, that Hellfire's got to be doing a lot of damage. And yeah, it's insane. So, remember, Revenant's Hellfire, Shatter Golem, and Critical Hits gems add, add together, but Deathcrawler multiplies. So, you get ridiculous numbers. Revenant's a non-crit, no-crit, Deathcrawler Hellfire round on Revenant is 2245. So, you just have to... Get his Hellfire primed with Deathcrawler and shoot somebody. And that is the number you're going to get bef before armor. So armor will reduce that. Crit with his critical hits gem that you're going to have on... Uh, that, you, that, that might proc 2,807 damage in one freaking shot. On a caster, on a squishy with no basic armor... They will have basic armor uh, through hero levels. I That is a one-shot. You literally one-shot heroes. Insane. Now, what about without Deathcrawler? What about with Shatter Golem and all that other stuff? So a normal Revenant Hellfire non-crit will be 724. Is With a critical hit gem Hellfire, 1268. Critical hit uh, with a Shatter Golem Hellfire, 1449. And Shatter Golem plus... Critical Hits Gem plus Hellfire is 1,992. When you start getting these numbers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's very rare. That's, you know, a, a uh, you know, 20% chance of a 15% chance on top of a Hellfire round. Like, it's very seldom that you, that, that you get these numbers, but they can happen, and they are averaged into, uh, into this DPS. So that is averaged into that. But these numbers are insane. I almost like the idea of not running Deathcrawler on Revenant just so I can see these numbers randomly pop up. I would love to see that, but you know what? This is just too enticing on Revenant. Plus, the fact that it's a DPS increase to go with, with Deathcrawler is just out of this world. Now, another hero that has famously, famously been using Deathcrawler, especially in the PTR and... Uh, once uh, it was released, whatever version that was, is Kalari. Her Shadow Dancer is a is a damage increase that is multiplied by Deathcrawler. Now, uh, yeah, it's um looking pretty sick. Now you might be wondering if you know if if Kalari Shadow Walk still crits with um you know w from gems and from death crawler i do not believe it crits from uh from shatter golem or from um or from a critical hits gem but it is multiplied by death crawler so while there you will see some of these numbers they aren't necessarily possible i just wanted to see them myself so with kalari her basic attack damage isn't 
isn't overly high, but her attack speed is terribly high. So that's where we get uh, some pretty good DPS numbers. With Deathcrawler, though, you can see here at the uh, here in the DPS, it is severely hurt. Uh, 35% DPS decrease as that 30 attack speed really does hurt somebody like Kalari. 604 DPS from, from Kalari. Uh, is is pretty darn good here with Shatter Golem, Overclock Droid, and um, and Heavy Hitter. With Deathcrawler, that's going to be 613 damage in a non-crit, which is which is terrifying. With a critical hits gem proc with Deathcrawler, that's 1073 damage, which is absolutely crazy so i mean you don't even need to be in stealth you just walk up to somebody boom 1703 damage is possible without death crawler though 196 damage is your normal basic attack 343 is a critical hits a attack shatter golem attack is 392 and shatter golem and critical hits is 540 but remember she hits ridiculously fast absolutely ridiculously fast so these numbers can be popping up like this and that is where her damage just becomes insane now if you include the damage from death crawler then that then that turns into a 22 percent decrease which isn't as bad but that's still a fifth almost a quarter of your dps gone just because you want that burst now here is where this may or may not happen if it does crit from certain things if it doesn't crit from certain things i can't why i don't know is because i can't find I can't find anything that either confirms or denies it. I just know that it wasn't a thing at one point, and I don't know if it still is. I can't find anything. Uh, please let me know if you want to test it. I just don't have that time. So here are the numbers. If you're interested, because they're crazy. Kalori, with Deathcrawler, uh, add the Shadow Walk, which is multiplied by, by, by Deathcrawler, maybe, is 1,379, 1,839, with a critical hits gem attack, so that's 1,800 damage. Out of stealth, just like that, maybe. Uh, with a normal attack, uh, we have we we have 442. If no crits happen, 589 of critical hits gem happens while shadow walk 638 with shadow walk and shadow golem and 785 with shadow walk critical hits gem and shadow golem proc. So that's pretty crazy. Whether some of those happen or not, I I can't find anything. I don't, which is weird. No patch notes. I can't find anything. So um, please. Get, put put a link in the video description or tell me where I can find that. And lastly, Murdoch, I am using as your typical uh, carry here, as he's just kind of he's he, he is quite meta right now, and I wanted to use him as an example. Plus, that piercing long range basic attack does have some synergy uh, with Deathcrawler, if you ask me. So, Murdoch, he hits not as hard as Revenant, but quite hard. Two hundred twenty eight. Um, damage here with death crawler 220 without death crawler but the dps again 37 percent decrease you're just looking at um dps overall now with death crawler 684 damage is monstrous and then the 1198 with the critical hits gem and that is just crazy remember armor is after these numbers so that you will what you see on screen will be reduced but with uh, Murdoch's piercing basic, I mean, you, that number will increase. Without Death Caller, with Shadow Golem and Overclock Droid and Heavy Hitter, you have 220 as normal basic attack, 385, 440, and 605. With the, when you combine the Death Crawler's damage, 22.92% damage decrease, uh, a DPS decrease, which again is pretty substantial, if you ask me, just to deal 400 extra damage. <sighs> Whether that's viable or not, I don't know. So, some factual statements we can make here about Deathcrawler. Well, it's a 21 to 23 percent decrease, DPS decrease against Shadow Golem with Heavy Hitter and Overclock Droid equipped on people like Kalari, Murdoch, and then the rest of the carries. Deathcrawler can provide three to ten times the damage of a basic attack as burst if combined with other crit cards, gems, and abilities. It is insane. I mean, the three times it's going to happen. That's what Deathcrawler does. It three times as three times as much damage but the 10 times once you start combining cards and gems and abilities it's just insane burst death crawler increases revenant's dps by six percent my apologies for the tldr 
and also provides him with up to 2,800 damage as burst, basically making it mandatory on Revenant, if you ask me. Deathcrawler can provide the ultimate burst on any hero, but synergizes better with Kalari and Revenant in terms of the burst. The viability of dealing 400 additional damage as burst on a carry every five seconds may not be worth 22% less DPS overall. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you got a serious front line that can pick apart the enemy and you just kind of pop in and out every five seconds to deal burst damage, I don't know whether you can really use that as a 1v1 tool to kind of deal dive in, deal damage, to deal dive out. I don't know. I mean, that's just the facts, I suppose. In this scenario, you can make your own decisions. I personally would rather have 22% more DPS instead of burst. Um... To be honest, I that's probably what I would do. As a carry, you're focused on DPS, sustained DPS, so that's what I would do. In terms of Kalari, maybe I definitely would go with, with Deathcrawler, perhaps. But I've seen a lot of Shatter Golem. Kalari is just wreck. Absolute phase. Using Deathcrawler as a burst option on any hero other than Revenant or Kalari will highly depend on team comp and strategy. I kind of don't see how how it would work but i mean the option is there and i wanted to put numbers to this so let me know down in the comments what you guys think does does it work on kalari what does work with kalari does it not crit anymore because i remember that was a thing but then i can't find anything about it let me know down in the comments death crawler it's awesome amazon is the tried and true way of shopping for anything you need or want at the lowest prices Support the channel at no cost to you by doing your Amazon shopping through the link in the video description. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it, dislike it, share it the community. Of course, guys, subscribe if you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful. Please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. Please check the video description for links to my website, merchandise store, and Amazon affiliate link, as well as all of my social media right here. Huge thank you to my Patreon supporters, my Twitch subscribers, and my YouTube sponsors going out of their way to make these videos possible. It's the support is really unbelievable every single month. So thank you guys very much for watching. Until next time, like always, it's Deptimistic and positive.